welcome to our exploration of artificial intelligence. The groundbreaking field shaping the future of the technology, the human interactions from the humble beginning to its deep impact today. AI is to revolutionize industries and reshape what's possible. Join us as we explore into the fascinating world of intelligent machine learning, machines, algorithms and search of creative systems that human awareness. Get ready to uncover the incredible potential and ethical consideration of this rapidly evolving field. We are on a journey into the heart of artificial intelligence. So now, if you are interested to learn more about artificial intelligence, you are landed on the correct video. So please do like, share and subscribe to our Edureka's YouTube channel. To get into more updates of the content of artificial intelligence, get into Edureka's website that is given in the description box. So. I would like to tell you the agenda for today's video will be what is artificial intelligence? Secondly, types of artificial intelligence? What does AI do at its core? And lastly, we would be learning about some use cases of artificial intelligence. Now, let us learn what is artificial intelligence. AI or artificial intelligence is the branch of computer science where focused on creating systems that were performed tasks and that would be normally required by human intelligence. These tasks can range understanding of natural language, secondly recognizing patterns, then making decisions and lastly learning from the experiences. AI is a collaboration of ideas, methods and knowledge where from the multiple academic disciplines work on a different problem solving and share their knowledge to a better understanding and come up with a good solution. But it can also be rule-based and operate under a set of rules and conditions only. So, I would like to tell you all guys, a small real-time experience or an experiment done by Alan Turing to propagate and to establish the artificial intelligence. Alan Turing was the first person to conduct the sustainable research in the field that he called machine intelligence. The Turing test was conducted to explore whether machines could exhibit human-like intelligence. Proposed by Alan Turing in 1950, it involves a human evaluator communicating with both a human and a machine through a text interface. If an evaluator cannot distinguish between the two based on their responses, the machine is said to have passed the test. It serves as a benchmark of the assessing the progress of AI and discussions of the nature and intelligence and consciousnesses. So this is to evolve and to establish that even machines can work as humans and that is how it is made to bring up the machine's knowledge and the human's knowledge into machines. There are two types of artificial intelligence. First, let's talk about weak AI. Before getting into what is weak AI, I would like to tell you with an example that is performed in the real world. I know you will all guys will be knowing about Alexa, Apple Siri and also self-driving vehicles. So, all of these considered as in weak AI. It is also known as a narrow AI or an AI narrow intelligent that is trained by the AI and focused to perform a specific task. Weak AI drives most of the AI that surrounds by us today. Narrow might be a more apt descriptor for this type of AI as it is anything but weak. Next, let us learn about strong AI. Strong AI is made up of artificial general intelligence or artificial super intelligence. Simply, it could be told as where a machine would have an intelligence equal to humans, where humans will track what AI needs to be done. It would be able to self-aware with the consciousness that would be this ability to solve problems, learn and also plan for the future. Have you ever thought what does AI do at its core? I am here to tell you why. AI is essential. It works by analyzing a lot of data to find patterns and a useful information. It even learns from this data to get better at a task over time. With this learning, AI can make decisions, predict future events and do tasks automatically that would normally need human intelligence. This helps business and other organizations work more efficiently. So AI is about making computers smarter and more helpful in everyday life. So let me tell you some use cases that is happening in daily uses or daily real life based. Firstly, I have taken is about cybersecurity. 
as it is a very important and a vital role for many platforms hereafter. Cyber security is a critical concern for individual businesses and also governments as cyber threats continue to evolve in a complexity and sophistication. It would play a very vital role for argumenting cyber security defenses. It is all based on the false positive effects that is made by the false information given by any criteria, leading the alert of fatigue and reduced operational efficiencies. Cyber attacks can exploit vulnerabilities in AI models by invading detection and compromising security defenses. They have some private data where it is trained on the basis of incomplete data sets may produce the outcomes of private data. This will raise an ethical concern and also regulatory compliances issues, having a very complicated problems too. So, the next one will be your entertainment. As people know, entertainment is taking a very huge part in everyone's life. For example, it would be your social media too. So, AI is transforming the entertainment industry by revolutionizing content creation, personalization and audience engagement. So, this can be such as television, gaming, music and also digital media platforms. One significant use of AI in entertainment is personalized content. Recommendation So, personalized entertainment experiences are enhanced through AI driven. It is recommended through systems. They are even having some platforms like Netflix, Prime Amazon and also Spotify that is making people engaged in a very high ad of now. These recommendations improve over time. So, I would like to conclude by telling artificial intelligence can do amazing things like analyzing data and making tasks easier. But it also brings up huge question about fairness, jobs and who controls it. We need to be careful in how we develop and use the AI making sure it helps everyone and doesn't cause harm at all. So this makes easier for people to get into creativity and make rules and guidelines. Thank you. Stay tuned to get into more contents and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!